Yes, back to back potato cactus, man. That is the life. That is the life, man. Nice. Worked out pretty well. Oh, yeah, hey, just got my first KQ head back. Grinding, so yeah, I'm back up to like probably like five heads again. So that was a good two hours. And uh, let me see what my potato cactus supplies and uh, wines of Zambi's looking like. Solid, solid. Got a lot of these actually in the two hours, so we're getting there. I don't need to have my run for this part. Oh my god, a drop! Holy shit. Dude, we actually got a drop first rate of the day, guys. Holy fuck. That is crazy. Last time I got so hyped for a fucking drone axe, so... Are you fucking kidding me? Back to back throwing axes. I quit this game, bro. Can't believe this shit. Seriously? My last two items. Dragon throwing axes. And guess what my fourth most recent item was? Dragon throwing axes. How many throwing axes do I have? Nine! What the fuck, man? I have more throwing axes than I have, like, dexterous and like arcane scrolls. And they're like twice as, more than twice as common than these pieces of junk. Ah, oh, this this game is just oh my god, straight up cursed, dude. I'm cursed, honestly. So you see all these dodgy necklaces? I made like probably around 180 or 190, and uh, I used them from 85 to 91 thieving at the Arty Knights, and I did not use that many. I thought I would go through like 100 plus, but no. Honestly, the most I probably used was like 40. So. Yeah, I made too much, but I guess if I were to go for more, then I would have way more than enough necklaces for more thieving there, I guess. So, I made like almost 9,000 diamond bolt tips recently. I'm in preparation to make, yeah, 9,000 diamond bolts, because I made quite a few a while ago, but it's starting to run low again. You know, all the raids, so this time, making uh, about 9,000 more should definitely last me way longer than ever before. Alright, we've got the last enchant, and that's it. Just made 8,880 diamond bolts. God damn, dude. How long is this gonna last me? I'm not even gonna predict. Let's just find out when I'm done with these. So while I am stocking up on the wines of Zamrax and Potato Cactus, I'm gonna work on some of the herbs that I can already, you know, turn to potions right now without even prepping for it. The main stack of herbs I'm gonna be using right away is gonna be the Grammy Eris because it's so easy to get the avenues. You just buy it from the store and yeah, I'm in the process of cleaning them all out right now. So I'll get about 1.1 mil or 1.2 mil XP just from the Eris and that should get me to 96 and you know, some change towards 97 and yeah we're gonna go from there so if you didn't already know i am back in college now so this is my senior year and of course there's you know school work to be done so a lot of times i'm trying to find something in this game that i can do to afk while i'm doing school work so uh, some of the things i've been doing so far this semester is just fishing angler fish Got a lot of those, you know. Also, I occasionally go to Mother Low Mine. It really depends on, you know, how intensive the schoolwork is that I have to do. So, yeah, if I need some saw AFK, I'll just go to Anglerfish. But honestly, now that I have this Herbler grind, I think there's some AFK activity that I can probably do to uh, help me get the Nine Herbler while on top of, you know, keeping up with some schoolwork. So, I think I'm gonna go back to the Karas and just range them and one of the good things about Karas is that I can basically stay there forever I don't even need to bang so I'm pretty stationary the only time I gotta you know spend is clicking on the monster and picking up drops and the Karas you guys obviously know drops a lot of white berries and a lot of limber roots which I could use you know to make super strength and super defense uh, with the you know Cadentines and Quorms that I do have. Where's the condentines? So I got a bunch of herbs that need some secondaries. So I might as well AFK there, get some homework done, and yeah, contribute to the nine herbal goal. So, so I have been doing crafts for a little bit, 
and this is about an hours uh, of inventory right here in loot so I got about 165 liver roots 120 white berries just from AFK ranging you know at max range essentially and it's pretty decent I guess this is probably a good hour because like I did another hour you know yesterday and I wasn't like getting as much I would say 200 minimum an hour in terms of secondaries overall which is pretty nice considering I just sit here and click on these every once in a while so I will definitely keep trying to do caress more and more 495 516 so I did 21 kill fight queen kills that that hour so actually I guess I don't need to be on slayer task you know to achieve 20 plus I guess I can go for like 25 if I was on task but that's awesome I guess there was a little bit of room for improvement in terms of you know how fast how many kills I can do so that's good all right I'm gonna wrap up cleaning Eretz in these uh, past few days just randomly cleaned and yeah I'm at 6,800 I'll clean the rest later so I got enough Eretz cleaned up for 96 Orbler. I believe that the Calfa Cave teleport that you get from Desert Emily 4 is a little bit deceiving because it sounds like you would get to the dungeon where Calfa Queen is, but actually, this teleport takes you to a different place. So it takes you over here, which is obviously not even close to the Calfi Queen lair, but this is the uh, Slayer Cave from, you know, back when Neve and Steve, you know, used to be a master for the Kel fights. So that's where the teleport leads to. All right, this is probably gonna cost quite a bit of money. Oh yeah, it's 200 GP each, but yeah. So that cost me a mil plus for her to make the finish potions, but way worth it. I ain't freaking doing that shit by myself. Damn, I did not expect Corporal Beast to kick my ass like that, but got the first Corp kill in quite a while. I'm just gonna hope the servers are good enough for me to do the actual two hours that I want today. Most peers. Oh, there we go. Onyx Ball, second to last kill. Alright, that's it. How many kills did I do today? Started off with. Oh, I actually don't even know what I started off with, but. I'm just gonna assume 622 minimum. Probably did like 11 kills, yeah. Okay, guys, we just got a fishing level. It's probably been over a month since I've gotten a fishing level, but yeah, it's, it's just I only like really do anglerfish right now in school, and obviously XP is mad slow, but AFK is phenomenal. It's probably my best AFK that I can do right now that actually gets me levels. Like wood cuttings, long done. You know, combat's like long done. So really, if I want to do some real AFK, it's got to be back here. But yeah, the anglerfish is nice. Always useful. Probably got like, um, I think 7,000 raw stacks, so it's good. But 1.1 1 .1 mil, 298. I guess eventually we'll definitely get the 99. Even if I do this the super slow way. Risk it. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Yeah, good thing I, I fucking waited. I'm smart as fuck. The poison killed it. For my uh, wines of Zami. Sick. I want that shit to be hard, dude. You know, like the, the monsters and shit. I want them to be hard. So when I'm doing the quest, I'm like, oh shit. Dragon two-handed sword. I mean, they are pretty much not so useful and glamorous anymore, but hey. Got a nice uh, drop to my loot tab, I guess. Did a lot of kills, so. Let's put these back in. Let's check the uh, stock here. Nice, 1,100 potato cactus, 1,000 wines of Zami. Looking good right now, man. That's a... Uh, Probably 300k XP right there, so I'm gonna keep collecting some more before I use it. So two of my good RuneScape YouTuber friends by the name of Rexy and Mint Macau, they decided to try to set up a RuneScape podcast channel where people from the RuneScape community can come together to basically discuss about lots of different topics regarding RuneScape. So, and recently I joined them in one of their podcasts. And if you like to watch the podcast, you know where. I was talking about you know various subjects with Rexy and Macau, then you can definitely check that out. I will have the link in the description and also at the end of the video for you to click. Also, if you're interested in RuneScape podcasts in general, where maybe some of your favorite 
uh, RuneScape YouTubers or streamers might probably you know make it to those podcasts eventually, then I recommend you definitely subscribe to that channel and help the RuneScape podcast channel grow because it would be nice to see a nice and thriving podcast channel just for RuneScape. Oh rip! I think I'm gonna die at this raid though. Fuck the servers just bailed on me again. Fucking hell, mate. Yeah. I'm at home too. I'm at home too, dude. Yeah, I'm DC for sure. Yeah. Nah, cause I would have I would have been DDoS already a long time ago. Yeah, I just lost the I just lost the raid. Rip. And this is one of many raids that I've lost in the past two to three months, thanks to the most stable server in the entire world. Now, obviously, it's definitely not stable. I'm trying my best to keep the salt away whenever I DC Lusa on a raid, but really at this point, you guys have to know what the hell is happening behind the scenes because it is such a struggle right now. I pretty much have lost at, at least 15 solid raids where I made good progress, half of the time where I'm at home about to finish the raid and then you know the servers just go cuckoo on my ass and then yep, I DC and I lose all the progress. It's so demotivating whenever that happens. I just lose so much time because of it but I'm still trying my best and there's one other thing that I want to be super transparent with you guys about and that is the you know slowing down of videos so if you've noticed my most recent videos is like taking five to six days to upload a part and that is just because of IRL commitments you know I'm very busy at the moment with school my internship and a few other IRL things and Unfortunately, those are things that I cannot escape from, you know, I got to take care of myself for the future and These things have to be done. So so right now I just don't have the time that I used to have like in the summer For example, to, you know to play the game as much as I want and release videos within like three to four days I'm a guy that tries to favor quality over quantity and I could obviously rush out a video every like two to three days, but no, I, I don't want to give you guys, you know, a shitty Video. So I'm trying my best to make a compromise, you know, between speed of video uploads and the quality of the video. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. Thank you guys so much though for uh, listening to this little rant slash IRL uh, situation. And hopefully in the next episode, I break my raids curse and get something new. Can't believe it, dude. Over a thousand one hundred plus raids, and I'm still missing three items. Goddamn. Have I told you guys, this is the craziest grind I've ever done on any account. Seriously, I've never put in so much hours grinding like one piece of content ever before. But hey, I set a challenge and I'm gonna goddamn finish it.